Yeah. Hi, my name is Desiree Stemmy, and today my topic is going to be how to be a more spiritual person. Being spiritual, according to Webster's Dictionary, simply means being concerned with your religious values. Not everyone serves the same God, so that means not everyone shares the same religious values. Religious values are the beliefs that you are taught that will better your connection to the God in which you serve. To be a more spiritual person, you have to become more concerned with your religious values that will better your connection with your God. In mostly all religions, there exists prayer. According to Webster's Dictionary, prayer is simply a way of communicating with your God. Prayer is also a way of praise. Praise that will improve your connection to the God in which you serve. It's better taught it's, be, it's been taught in Christian churches the way to pray. And it's like also, you can read it in the Holy Bible, Luke 11. Praying is done by kneeling, head bowed, and eyes closed. And doing these motions, it has also been taught that a better connection comes to those who humble themselves unto the God in which they serve. Studying your beliefs and the ways of living that you were taught is also a key to becoming a more spiritual person. In the Muslim religion, Muslims take their religious beliefs and their studies very seriously. The Quran has 114 chapters, and children as young as six in the Muslim religion are memorizing these books by memory. You have to be dedicated to your studies and eager to want to learn. Learning can also help you to be able to teach others the way of your religion and the way to serve God. Becoming a more spiritual person isn't a very easy task. Being a more spiritual person takes plenty of time and dedication, but it is possible when you put your mind to it, the task, you will become a more spiritual person. With a strong willpower and plenty of studying and praying, you can become a more spiritual person. And the way to pray in Christianity is simply they it's simply taught in Luke 11. Um, as I can demonstrate, you um, just get on your knees and then you bow your head and close your eyes. And it's simply said in the Holy Bible that it goes, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And then that is how you pray in the Christian in the Christian churches. Thank you.